Welcome to Ways to Love Your Money. I'm Elizabeth Dawson, and we have a great guest here today. We're going to be doing our spring cleaning for season five, and it's a focus on getting your finances in order. This is going to be a great new thought uh, process and idea, something that we've never had on the show before. But Miss Christina Walls is going to be talking with us about land selling or land flipping. And uh, it's a unique perspective. I think you're going to enjoy it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you ready to upgrade your relationship with money? We created a free cheat sheet to help you discover the seven hidden costs sabotaging your financial success and what you can do about it. Click the link below to get your free copy. Welcome back to Ways to Love Your Money. I'm Elizabeth Dawson, and we have Miss Christina Walls here on the show with us, and she's going to tell us about land investing, and uh, we're really excited to have her. So welcome. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about land investing as a whole um, and, and how you got involved in this, you know, so many years ago. What was uh, what was the driving factor? What was the what was the key so um, I wanted to get into investing some years ago, and um, I had a son who was in school, and I had another business, and I didn't know if I had the right education, I didn't know if I had the right money, but I had the desire. And then uh, when my son started driving at around 16, I said, now's my opportunity. And I went to my local RIA. Uh, Real Estate Investors Association and started taking some classes and sitting in and listening. And there was a um, class one day uh, given by Jack Bosch about land flipping. And I was sitting in the class and it just resonated with me. And what resonated with me was that I could do it from anywhere as long as I had internet I didn't have to uh, flip any properties. I didn't have to buy paint. I didn't have to keep track of crews. Um, and I just was like, yeah, this lines up with what I want. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the uh, there was a couple sitting in front of me and they had just closed their first deals, made like $20,000. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, look, if they can do it, I can do it, you know? <laughs> and so I just bought the bought the package that they offered. Uh, it was just an entry level package, did my first deal. Uh, 30 days later, made $8,000. And I ever since then, it was just repeat, repeat, repeat. Rinse, repeat. So so tell me about land investing versus um, real estate investing as purchasing a property. Is it commercial land? Is it residential land? What What is that? So it really, it's commercial land. I buy commercial land sometimes. I buy residential land sometimes. Sometimes I buy, and I, I live in Florida, and sometimes I buy wetland and sell it to like people that want to hunt in certain areas. It's like remote out in the middle of nowhere, and it's not built up. You can't build on it. It's in the middle of nowhere, no roads, no access, but they need to own land just to hunt in that area. But that's kind of the minor. I usually it's usually residential lots is uh, the bulk of what I buy and sell. So so how is the process? What what's the process of how you buy the land and then go ahead and sell it right away? Because it sounds like you're turning things over fairly quickly. Oh, it, it turns over so fast, especially during COVID. It's ridiculous. I my inventory constantly is dropping, and I'm buying more. So. The process, um, which I learned through the uh, LPG program, uh, was basically I reach out to landowners, uh, I get lists from counties, and I do mass mailings, or I do targeted blind offers to areas that I'm uh, familiar with and I'm comfortable with and I've done deals in. And I do direct mail, just basically saying, hey, landowner, are you interested in selling? And... Um, you know, you'd be surprised how many people respond versus mm -hmm. the, the housing world. You know, you see the uh, house flippers and stuff. They're sending out, that, I mean, just so such high numbers of uh, direct mailing and getting little response. If I mail out, say, a thousand letters, it's very possible for me to get like, you know, 40, 50 leads out of that. And mm -hmm. um, those then convert into deals, you know, maybe three to four deals, something like that. So they respond saying, yeah, we want to sell our land. We do research on their property and we send them an offer. 
And um, we send them first offers, second offers, third offers, you know, basically till, till we can, can buy it. Of course, not everybody wants to sell at a discount, but that's okay. So you're sell so you're buying it at a discount. So how are you turning around and selling it right away? You're flipping it. So, you know, your one website here is called Land Flipping Fun. So how are you turning the sale around so quickly? So the the Land Flipping Fun is actually a webinar to learn how to um uh, flip. I I sell uh land at discounts on Facebook Marketplace, on Zillow, sometimes I mm -hmm. list them with realtors. So I buy uh, at a discount and I sell approximately 80% of market value. So my land, and I also offer seller financing so that um, if somebody wants to purchase the land, but they don't have all the cash up front, they give me a down payment, which usually covers the cost of the land that I'm buying. And then I collect payments for the next five years and uh, create passive income that way, which is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Passive income is a favorite of many people since well, Ways to Live Your Money here is a money show. Having a relationship with money is so key. Uh, Passive income is, you know, the path to retirement. So um, to get started, let's say a consumer listening to the show today, to get started, do they have to have a lot of money to get started? Or is it something where um, there, there's help, I guess, with the program? So there's different levels of learning the land profit generator way. There's, you know, the basic level, you know, for a few thousand dollars up to coaching, which is, you know, uh, more, more, you'd have to uh, connect with the LPG. I don't know the numbers. They don't give me that information. Um, but I started out entry level and was able to do deals. But what happened is after I had uh, flipped land for about a year and a half, I hit a cap. And it seemed like I couldn't get my bank account over a certain amount. I couldn't grow the business a certain amount. I couldn't scale. And it was just simply because I lacked the knowledge and the education on how to do it. I didn't know where I needed to focus. And so I actually entered into the coaching program with the intention of learning how to scale, learning how to double my business, learning how to grow my business. And I had had other businesses in the past and I did the same thing, I capped. And I just seemed to like, and, and again, like the relationship with money, there was part of, part of my coaching was getting through those mental barriers also, you know, because if you're hitting a cap, yeah, you may need some education, but you also may need a shift in your mind frame in order to get there. You know, you may have a, a 50K bank account mind frame, <laughs> you know, but you got to, but you want to hit a million, you know, so you've got to, you know, do some moving within yourself to get there. And um, I and I needed some education and I needed some um, somebody to talk talk to in terms of the mind frame and, you know, my background and where I'd come from and the hindrances that were, um, you know, preventing me to go to moving forward in my business. Well, I think it's interesting that you say the hindrances because there's so many people out there today, especially women that um, might have those hindrances about being able to grow their business or or even break out into something like this, you know, I don't know what the representation of people that are actually purchasing land and selling land um, or land flipping, as you say, uh, what are there certain things that are intimidating? Are there certain things that are uh, that create doubt? Or is it something that it's a learned process? Once you get it down, you feel pretty confident about moving forward. Well, once you, it's just like anything new, anything you go into, there's always that fear, you know, learning new, a new arena, learning a new career, learning the new language, learning the paperwork, the documents, the closings, all of this. Um, so oftentimes that's where people just give up. They give up. You know, they hit a roadblock and they don't push through it. They don't uh, seek out help and they just don't move any forward. For, they just don't move forward. Um, they may do one or two deals and then something goes wrong and then they just give up. Um, so the, 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 the process, the benefit of when I had gone through the LPG program, it's literally step one, step two, step three, step four. And that's what I needed. I needed, and it was videos. I didn't have to like read manuals on how to 
you know what I mean? It was like video one, apply, video two, apply, do- supporting documents. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> that's great. That's great. I mean, that that's super because if it's something that's simplified, but it's maybe something you don't know and it's new, um, that's sometimes the hardest thing to engage with. So I, I'm glad that it was easy, user friendly for you. So do you have to have a real estate license to do what you're doing? No, you don't. I do have my license, but they're inactive. I don't need them and don't use them. They would benefit me um, just for listing my own properties. Um, but I just have on my higher price properties, I, you know, if I got a half million dollar lot, I'll put that with a realtor. I'm not going to try to sell that on Facebook marketplace. <laughs> so, so do you have to upfront all the cash in those purchases? Like let's say half a million dollars. Well, no, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting to, now we're getting to the layers underneath yeah. the onion, yes. No, I don't. Now sometimes because I um sometimes I will pay cash for properties, but what I do is I put the properties under contract with um a couple sentences that allow me one that allows me to market the property and then I also request for a six month closing on or before six months. So mm-hmm. I basically do what's called a double closing or a simultaneous closing on maybe high priced um properties and um I use the end uh buyer's money to pay the seller and I get the spread. However there's also other ways of dealing with it. Let's say you have a deal and it is just a smoking deal and you know that uh, it's going to sell and the, you know, you're going to make uh, a good amount of money. You can use things like transactional funding. Um, you know, there's different ways of uh, private money if you need to in order to purchase these properties if you do not have uh, the capital. So there are ways of uh, doing it without dipping into your bank account. Well, I think that's pretty incredible because uh, most people think that maybe you have to have all these, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to do something like this. But you're kind of saying, no, you don't. It's just you have to know the process. You have to know the process and you have to have the courage to do it. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's fascinating. Is there anything you want to tell someone that might be interested in this process, what they should actually do? Well, if they are interested in it, um, the landflippingfun.com uh, is a link that does take you to the uh, webinar, which will just kind of introduce you to it. Or you can reach me, you know, on Facebook, Christina Walls, um, or even Instagram, Christina underscore 13 Walls, um, and just communicate with me if you are interested in it. Um, but but really, um You know, I would suggest just listening in maybe to the webinar to kind of see if it resonates with you. You know what I mean? The again, the benefit is that you can do it from remotely. My whole goal was to um, create a business around how I wanted to live. I travel. I travel spontaneously and frequently, you know, Mm -hmm. and I don't have to, like, save money to buy a plane ticket or whatever, you know, or whatever. So. If you want to create a business based around how you want to live, you know, land flipping is, in in my opinion, a great way to um, enter into investing, you know, and then I think once you get going and you're starting to make money, it's good to take that money and buy more income producing assets. (laughs) Well, that's the exciting part. So this all falls into retirement and possibly, you know, maybe you already feel retired because you're doing what you love. Well, yeah, I don't think I feel retired because, you know, as you keep going, you're like, oh, look at that. OK, like, it, you know, and it's it's crazy. It's like once you start moving in the direction of what you love doing, doors open, mm-hmm. you know, and all of a sudden you're sitting this last two weeks, which have just been phenomenal to me. Um, two of my goals this last year was to create two new streams of income. They're already set in place. You know, it's like the right people at the right time showed up and you know I get things presented to me all the time but um you know again once you start moving into um in a career that really resonates with you it's kind of what's in you to do you just don't know what's around the corner you know and what's going to open up well I think that's wonderfully and beautifully said because you know if you love something opportunities will 
you know, present themselves to you. So I'm sure you have a process. I'm sure you've had some great mentors. Um, life is not always just easy. You know, here's the, here's the pie, here's the equation. No, you've got to put some work in at it. So um, I guess my final question for you today would be is what is your true relationship with money at this point? Do you feel financially free? Uh, do you feel like you're on the right path? What, where are you today with your relationship with money? Well, I'm always striving to make more, <laughs> but I'm going about it completely differently. Um, how, how my relationship with money now is way more relaxed and open in terms of like, I kind of envision what I want and I start moving that direction and it starts moving towards me. Mm. You know, it's kind of like, um, you know, they talk about, you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. And mm. it's just becoming a little bit mind blowing to me, the things that, and it's all based around, um, uh, kind of going after what I want in life. And the, the benefit and the reward is the, are the finances. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Do I feel financially free? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know if I, I mean, at what point does one feel like financially free? <laughs> well, it's a good question but, to ask. I mean, that's what we're here for because it's, it, yeah, everybody's experiencing it something different. That's for sure. Well, yeah, it it, it's such a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you for your perspective. Something we have not talked about here on the show. And I think that there's probably people here that are probably interested in about um, learning a little bit more about what you have. So we'll make sure that, you know, our listeners have your information. But thank you again so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate your time. All right. Stay back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Have you gotten a copy of our book yet? If you haven't, Wealth by Design is available on our website, Elizabeth with an S, Dawson.com. We'd love for you to get a copy today. Well, I hope you enjoyed our interview with Christina Wells as much as I did because it's a different perspective. We've never heard anything like this. And um, land flipping is a possibility for another revenue stream or passive income. Uh, just depends on what your career path is. But if you love real estate, that might be a good one. And it sounds like it might be even something good for retirement planning too. So uh, if you want more information, please let us know. We'll be able to help you get in contact with Christina. And I'm sure she would love to chat with you a little bit more too. Um, in addition, we've got a question, and thank you again, listeners, for being here um, and, and people that are watching the show as well. We, that's why we produce the show and film it. But there's a question from the audience. Is it better to have an annuity or a 401k for my workplace? It's kind of an interesting thought because annuities are going to be offered now in 401ks at your workplace, and it's something called the SECURE Act that went into effect a couple of years ago. But because COVID happened, it basically stalled the process of bringing those types of opportunities into the workplace. Now, it's interesting because in retirement accounts for teachers, um, they have something called TSAs or tax sheltered annuities, and they've been having annuities in their plans for quite some time. So I think that the industry, um, along with the government, is trying to figure out what's the best way to put this together. Now, if it's a 401k that's sitting with an old employer and you're no longer there, an annuity might be a really great option. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you want growth or if you want to purchase income for the future, the whole idea of retirement planning is this. You are 100% responsible for your retirement plan. How does that make you feel? The majority of pensions have left us. Certain people still have pensions, but do we want to create a pension-like income stream from an annuity? And the, ab the absolute answer is yes. So it's something to consider. Talk to a financial professional. Of course, we're here to help you. If you want to ring us at 619-640-2622 and see what your future income looks like at retirement, because we're all working for a number. We're all working for something greater than the number that we're earning today. So the best time to start is now versus a procrastination and saying, oh, gosh, I didn't start soon enough. All right. Well, hopefully this was a great show as well as it was for us. And again, if you have any questions, please email them to us at questions with an S at Elizabeth with an S Dawson.com. Take care.
The information provided in this show is for informational and educational purposes only. This show is not investment advice, nor is it intended to address the financial needs of any particular viewer. The opinions expressed on this show are not intended to be an endorsement of any particular investment strategy or service of any other kind. You must make an independent decision regarding investments or strategies mentioned throughout the show. Before acting on information in this show, you should consider whether it is suitable for your particular situation and strongly consider seeking advice from a financial advisor.